Hey beauties! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Riri, and today's video is a full face of first impressions. Alright beauties, so we are going to quickly dive in because I have uh, an entire full face, tons of new goodies, things that I've purchased, um, things that I got from Katie in our swap box, things that I got from Kate in our swap box, so uh, full face, lots to get through. We're going to explain it as we go. So very first thing I'm going to try is this Natura Siberica Organic Certified Moisturizing Face Tonic. I did get this from Kate in our little swap. So I'm just going to spray this on my skin and see what we think. The mister is very nice. Whoa. Mmm. It feels nice. It does smell really nice. Um, it's cosmetics of wild herbs and flowers. I do smell a very slight herbal type of scent to it. Um, so, okay. So far, so good. Next up, I'm going to go into the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer Dewy Foundation Grip. I'm kind of nervous about this. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize it said grip, meaning I feel like it might be sticky, and y'all know that is not my vibe. Um, so I'm hoping I like it. We're going to try it, and um, it was expensive, so I'm really scared. I do like the packaging. Oh, weird. Oh, <laughs> it's a weird gel consistency, which is not my favorite. So now I'm really scared. I don't smell anything at all. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Um, and I think I used way too much. These are not my favorite <laughs> primers. I like obviously a more kind of thick lotion-y type of primer, one that's super hydrating. We will see how this sets on the skin roll. Um, I don't know yet. We'll see. I do like the glow. That part does look really, really pretty. I'm actually going to wait just a second for this. The only thing that I do not have is brows. So when we get to that point, I'll do my brows off camera and come back. Um, so while I'm waiting actually for this, first of all, thank you to Kate. I'm wearing the earrings that she sent me. I'm also wearing one of my Rural Aura tops. I wear this top all the time and I freaking love it. I do have a discount code linked down below. But our mail just came, y'all, and it said Avon. And I was like, I already got my Avon order. I do have some Avon clothing that I'm going to be adding in with a fall try on that I have coming up. So I was like, I don't know what the hell this is. I didn't order anything else. But it's this little card and it came with a gift and it says, congratulations on your achievements. You've worked so hard and now it's time to enjoy your reward. We are just as excited as you are to celebrate your achievement. Continue to make life beautiful. So it is a little card and I got this cute little box. And it is this really, really beautiful little card holder, like a business card holder. And it's got like a frosted thing with like the little lips. And then of course, you know, you just open it and then your business cards would go in it and it has like the little felt in here. So I think that was so cool. I mean, I don't always talk about my Avon. I do have regular customers that have shopped with me since I started selling Avon. I do also have a couple of beauties that are under me that are really working it out, that are doing a fantastic job. So that reflects obviously on me as well. Um, but they're doing the damn thing. I'm super proud of my girls. That's super, super exciting. Um, especially for somebody that doesn't really push it. I don't sell it a whole lot. I don't really kind of say, hey, I'm an Avon lady and say it daily or anything like that. Um, but I am proud of the company. I've, again, loved Avon since I was an itty bitty little girl. But yeah, so I thought that was super cool. It just, it kind of brightened my day. I haven't been feeling the best lately. So this, I actually like. It is sticky, so I'm really scared. I've never tried, I don't think, like a sticky primer. Um, and I guess this is going to be similar to the way that the Milk Hydra Grip is going to be. Um, and I haven't tried that because it is a sticky formula, so uh, I'm scared. Next up, I'm going to go in with the new version, the limited edition Love is the Foundation brush from It Cosmetics. Um, you guys know that this one right here is one of my all-time favorite brushes. This one is the one from last year, and it has the flat top kabuki. This one right here is the original one that they first came out with that has the domed top on it. So I already know that I love their brushes, but I was super excited about it. I do buy one. I try to get one every single year um, and it feels amazing and it has super cool little hearts in it and they go up or down. This is like, it's so cool. I love it so far, just by aesthetics. Um, the foundation that I have, I don't have like a full size foundation to try, um, but I had this NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in this shade Barcelona. Um, I haven't even looked at this yet, but it was the only foundation I had. If I feel like it's going to be like way too dark or way too light, we'll, we'll do something else. 
Um, I think we'll be okay. We're going to test it. Y'all know that I don't typically go super matte. I've actually heard beautiful things about this particular formulation, though, so I'm excited to try it. And again, that is the NARS Soft Matte, and that is the shade Barcelona. Let me double check. Yeah, Barcelona. So I'm just going to put a little bit. I don't know how much to use. And y'all know I get really nervous with matte foundations. But I'm also intrigued to see how it kind of plays with the primer as well. I do definitely see some glow, so I do like that part of the primer. I'm just really worried about that stickiness. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. I like the brush. It feels very soft. And I will say, the foundation is going over the primer beautifully. I don't think I would ever switch over to this type of a primer, just because it's not my vibe, but I don't hate it. Like, I thought I was going to hate it. <laughs> All right. I don't mind it. It is definitely darker than my face skin is right now. But that's okay. We'll blend it out. Oh, I like this brush. I know a lot of people last year when the flat top one came out were kind of pissed. Oh my god, I forgot that was matte and it stuck. Ah! <laughs> but they were pissed because it wasn't the domed shape like this one. So I guess this year they kind of took notice to that and they were like, we better give to people what the people want this year. Uh, I'm gonna have to spray my face because that foundation is sticking. Um, so just note to self, if you have not tried this yet, you may want to uh, work quickly. All right, lesson learned. <laughs> and again, y'all know, I mean, I'm not a matte foundation wearer, so. I actually think it looks really freaking beautiful though. Like it lays on top of that primer beautifully, which I'm pretty shocked by. Ooh, that's pretty. I honestly think if I wasn't as hydrated as I am though, it would definitely feel a little too dry to me. So, so far so good. I'm gonna go in and try to build it up a little bit more just because it got kind of splotchy where it set. That was my own fault because I let it sit. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit more <laughs> And I'm going to go into the beauty blender and see if I like it a little bit more this way and kind of like working a little bit faster. This is the hip dot little sponge that I got in my boxy charm. I love this sponge. Oh yeah, that's much better. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, not to say that I would wear this all the time, but this combination together is really, really stunning. And I didn't do half my face without and half with, so I'm so sorry, you guys. But I will get up close and personal. Oh, I like it. I can't believe I like it, but I like it. Ignore around the eyes. We still have to do some concealer. Huh. Okay. So we'll get up close. I don't feel like it's emphasizing texture, which a lot of matte foundations will do, and they settle in my fine lines. This does not seem to be doing that thus far. Okay. I like it. Would I use it every time? Absolutely not. Y'all know that. I'm just not a matte foundation person. But I think that if you love matte foundations, you're probably going to really like this. It feels really nice on the skin as well. I'm going in with my Koki Cosmetics Be Bright Concealer. I do not have a new concealer. This is medium beige. And y'all know I'm a less is moho when it comes to uh, concealers and things like that. I am quite surprised. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm loving the skin, you guys. Now I'm going to go into the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Um, and this is the shade Medium. I've looked for this, y'all, for months. I think it was Juicy Jazz I saw use it. Or either Kelly Strack, one or the other. 
Um, and I looked for it and looked for it and looked for it and looked for it and could not find it. So I finally found it. I'm really excited to try this. Um, Y'all know, especially for myself, because I have very dry skin, that I typically steer away from a lot of powders. Um, I also am allergic to a lot of things and have a hard time having like powders that go up into my face and stuff. So it's very seldom that I actually find a powder I like. Um, but a lot of companies now are coming out with more glowy, luminous type powders, which I'm appreciative of. So that is what it looks like. It doesn't, it's not puffing up all over the place. And I'm gonna set the perimeter. Oh, that is not very medium. But that's okay, because the foundation's slightly darker than my face. I don't smell anything at all. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, you guys, I'm, I love how my skin is looking. And this is just a loose, like a big fluffy powder brush. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. This almost reminds me of like the Jaclyn Hill mood, mood light powders, moonlight powders. Um, how it's like enough to set the skin and they're mattifying, but glowy at the same time, if that makes any sense. My skin looks gorgeous. I'm so shocked. <laughs> And then whatever residual is on here. I haven't really been setting my under eyes to a whole, whole lot. But whatever like little bits left, I'm just going to press under there. My skin looks gorgeous. Oh. I, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm shocked. This I really, really love. Hopefully you guys can see that. I mean, like just the little bit of like a lit from within. It's not crazy. It's not glittery or intense. Mama's happy, y'all. I'm going to set my face as I always do. I'm going in with my ADH Dewy Set. And then we're going to just take the sponge. And you guys know I like to just press everything into the complexion. And makes everything just look less powdery, less cakey. Makes all your makeup kind of become one with the skin instead of kind of sitting on top of the skin. Oh, I feel, I feel good. I really, I've been having a shit couple of weeks. So I needed this. I needed a good makeup day, y'all. <laughs> Speaking of, how are y'all doing? I know a lot of us are struggling right now, but it's okay. That is a part of life, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this Patrick Ta. I should have done this first shoot. Um, I did get this blush from Katie in our little swap. This is Do We Know Her? And I wanted to try this forever and ever and ever, ever, forever, ever. <laughs> How do you freaking open this? I think I did that last time too. Okay. So it has, of course, the cream blush and then the powder blush. I'm going to attempt to use the cream blush. Sometimes cream blushes don't work as well on top of, you know, powders, but I did kind of wet it. Um, I like to go in with a firm, like tight kind of packed brush, or I use a sponge and go into my hand and then kind of play from there. I don't know how intense this is going to be, so I'm scared. Oh. Very intense. Very, very intense. I can't remember if I tried this that day or not that I opened it. I think I may have. It actually is reading more pink than coral. Like in here, it definitely appears to be more coral. It's not pulling up my foundation. Um, definitely less is more. It's quite heavily pigmented. I don't smell anything at all. Oh, that looks pretty. My skin, you guys, is, I love it. I love how my complexion is looking right now. So definitely less is more. Um, I kind of went ham on this side, but that's okay. <laughs> Again, I don't feel like it's lifting anything up. I don't feel like it is intensifying any texture or anything like that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, I love this. Oh, all right. I'm going to close that back down. And then I'm going to go on top just very lightly with the powder blush. It feels amazing. Very, very soft. And then I'm lightly going to just put it right on top where I just did this and then softly kind of feather it out a little tiny bit. Oh, it's so pretty. I hope this is reading on camera the way it is in person. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
I love it. I love how my complexion looks right now. Ooh. Okay. I might've gone a little ham, but that's okay. Um, so far so good. So far I'm loving everything. I can't believe that I'm not feeling the tackiness on the skin from the primer. That is, I think, why I haven't tried many of the kind of grippy type of primers. Um, they scare me. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go into something else that I wanted to try for literally years. And it is the Marc Jacobs, the Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan. I did get Tantastic. Um, I hope it's the right shade, but these are typically like 50 ish dollars and I got it for 34 and then I had $10 off on my little Sephora thing. So I paid like $24 for this. And as you can see, it is a massive, massive pan. So I'm going to go into this. I'm going to smell it. I don't really, oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do get kind of close. Oh, it does smell nice. Let's see how the texture feels. Oh, that feels very soft. Ooh. Okay, let's put it on my face and see how we like it. I'm going in, oh! That's a lot. It doesn't bother me, but I just wasn't expecting it. Uh, maybe just let me go in a little softer. And I think the reason a lot of people get bothered by considerable fallout like this, I mean, if I did pay $50 for this, I might be freaking out just a little bit. So let me go in more gentle. I typically, and maybe as we get into like more into the winter months when I'm a lot more light than I am right now. Mm, it's pretty, but it's just not enough for me right now. You guys, I mean, I live for a, a bold, like warm, 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 toasty, yummy bronzer, but it smells nice. The consistency is really nice. It is still pretty. I'm going to have to try this again, y'all. I'm on the fence. <laughs> Just because I, I assumed it would be slightly warmer than I guess it is. Um, but yeah, I like it. We'll just see. We'll see what happens as I lose my tan. <laughs> All right. I'm feeling myself, though. I'm definitely feeling myself. I'm going to do my brows off of camera, and I will be R.B. All right, beauties, we are back. I went in with my Hourglass Brow Pencil. This is the Arch in the Shade. Warm Brunette. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go in now and highlight, and then we're going to go to the eyes. I'm going to be using the W7 Glow Commotion Shimmer Highlight or Eyeshadow. Um, I did get this from Kate in our Swap Sister box. <laughs> kind of hard to open. <laughs> and that is what it looks like. Just kind of your standard gold. When I did swatch this, it looked super, super beautiful. So we're going to see what she looks Whoa, beach! <laughs> oh, that's purting. Oh my god. Okay, that might be I I I did too much. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, we did way too much. Still beautiful nonetheless. But this is a more dense brush, so it definitely places more product. Oh, oh, it's pretty though. Ooh. All right, we need to um tone that down just a hint cuz I look like a glazed donut. Let's spray the face again. And let's see if we can't tone this bad boy down just a touch. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Oh, that's pretty. I really like that. Okay, still still a little harsh. <laughs> oh god. That's okay though. Let's go over to blush brush. Ooh, you guys, I'm loving everything. Loving everything. Now I'm going to go in with this Model Rock Cosmetics Eye Elixir Eye Primer. It is in the shade Nude, and they are a cruelty-free brand. The packaging is everything. I'm getting, like, 90s vibes. And I do like the component a whole lot. I don't smell anything at all. It kind of feels like my, like Marc Jacobs one, um, kind of has like a little bit of a slip to it. If you're looking for something that is going to offer coverage, cover up a lot of blueness or veining, this is definitely not going to do that. Um, I'm getting some coverage, but yeah, 
If you're looking for something with coverage, this is not for you. It feels nice. It feels really light. It's blending out well. All right, so far so good. Okay. Now we're gonna go into the eyeshadows. I'm super duper excited about this. I have quite a few palettes that I have not tried yet, but I wanted to try this one right here. This is the September Rose Cosmetics Brew Palette. They are an indie UK brand. And then I'm gonna try, I've gotten a lot of requests from y'all to go into the Touch and Soul, the Fill Up Orange palette because that glitter is in here. So if it can work out that I can try to use that, we'll use that one as well. Um, as you see, this is still sealed. So I'm gonna open this up. You guys, I'm so excited. And like the packaging, everything is so damn pretty. I've heard wonderful things about this particular brand. And y'all know, I love my indie brands. So again, that is the packaging. They are also a cruelty-free brand. Ah! Oh, it's so pretty. So good size mirror. I feel like the mirror could be a little bit bigger, kind of in regard to like the size of the actual palette. And then let's take the little sleeve off and you can see we have some berry tones, some warm tones. The olive green is gorgeous. And then I like that there's a pure white. I always like either a white or bone shade that helps with blending. It can be for, you know, the inner corner or above the brow, below the brow. And then I was like a dark, dark black chocolate color or anything like that. So I really love the color story here. I like that there are more mattes than shimmers. I appreciate that as well. So we're going to dive in. I think I'm gonna go into Ginger first. It does fold all the way back, hallelujah, I love that. Ginger is this one right here. And of course I will do one eye, zero fallout. Okay, I will do one eye off of camera and one eye, oh my God, and one eye on camera. Holy shit. Okay, I don't know if it's this or if it's the primer, but that is the color that is in the in the pan for sure. And you guys know when I'm first testing out a product, meaning when I am first testing, and you guys know when I'm testing out an eyeshadow palette, I'm not typically aiming for a look, you know, creating this fantastic, you know, look. I am trying to see, you know, use as many colors as I can. Is the pigment there? Is it saturated in color? Is the color on the lid, the color in the pan? Do they blend well together? Do they become muddy? Can I layer them? Those types of things. So, so far, so good that is a beautiful color i am going to swatch it they feel very very soft and they they swatch beautifully as well you guys know swatches don't mean anything in the world to me um i i like that so far i'm gonna go into another i'm going into a slightly more fluffy brush and i think i'm gonna go into spice chai which is right here Again, very little kickback in the in the pan, and it is picking up beautifully onto the brush. I'm gonna come just right here, kind of right under where I did that first shade at, and I just wanna intensify the outer corner a little bit. Again, it is the same color in the pan as it is on my lid, and oftentimes that isn't the case. <laughs> And then I think I'm gonna round my eyes out today, which is not typically what I do. You guys know I try to pull everything up, give myself a little instant facelift, you know. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. It's not getting muddy so far, which has just two shades, but. All right, so far so good. I'm gonna start softly bringing this in just a little bit. I think I'm now gonna go into Pumpkin Spice. It looks so beautiful. And we're gonna lay that right beside that first shade and then kind of connect them up top. That is beautiful. Again, same color that is in the actual pan. Blending well together, nothing's getting muddy. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna pop a little bit of that right above here so I have a nice gradient. Um, I'm going to go into Iced Tea, which is that beautiful gold kind of shimmery. That feels incredible. Oh 
beach. I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go with my finger first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Keep in mind, guys, this is just with my finger. So I'm gonna kind of press it in where I can get to with my finger. Oh, that's pretty. Holy shit, that's pretty. And then I'm gonna go in with a kind of like a cut crease type of brush, a little flat brush, and I am gonna wet it. Not that I think it needs it at all, <laughs> but just so I can actually get all the way in here. Wow, that is super foiled and super beautiful. My goodness. Whoa. Okay, that's gorgeous. <laughs> And then I'm gonna kind of feather them together. Going back in with this brush. And whatever is left of that yellow, I'm just gonna bring it over some. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I think I wanna go in with, I'm gonna butcher this name. Ruibos, <laughs> Ruibos, right here. I'm gonna go with that and intensify the outer corner even more. Mm, that is gorgeous. And then start feathering that and still keeping the eye nice and round and bring it down to the bottom. I'm going to switch brushes and go into a smudger brush and go back into the Ruibos. I'm going to do the outer part of the eye with that. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I am impressed. Very much so. Oh my god. This is gorgeous, you guys. Gorgeous. I'm gonna go back into Pumpkin Spice, which was the more yellow. You guys. I'm not sure if they ship to the U.S. I'm sure shipping is very expensive. Um, sadly, it is expensive to ship overseas, but it would be worth it. <laughs> I'm going to go back into the same brush. I'm going to tap it off a little bit, and I'm going to go into Milk Tea, which is this one right here, the plain white. Again, no kick up. The only shade I've had any kick up at all in was the Pumpkin Spice shade. I'm going to very lightly put this up here because I'm scared. Yeah, this is gorgeous, you guys. Man. Oh, I love it. I think I'm going to go... I'm going to use the white again. And I'm put it on a little pencil brush. I don't typically do a matte outer corner. But that gold is popping enough that I don't think we need anything else right there. That white is very, very saturated in color. I'm impressed. And um, I'll be RB. All right, beauties, we are back, y'all. Uh, mind blown. I don't know if this is a primer or if this palette is really that damn good. Uh, the Brew Palette from September Rose Cosmetics. If you can get this, I highly, highly, highly suggest it. Oh my God. I'm impressed. I am very impressed. Next, we are going to go into our mascara and primer and then lips and then we're done. I'm so sorry this is long. Y'all know what I say. If it gets too long, grab your tacos and your tequila, your milk and cookies, whatever is your preference, and sit back and relax and enjoy the show. But if it's still too long, them three dots right there, yeah, those. Just tap those and speed me up. That's all you got to do. So we're going to go in with mascara and primer now. I'm going to go in with the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. This was from Katie and our swap. And then I'm going to go in with the number seven Dramatic Lift Mascara from Kate. <laughs> so we're going to try this first. Okay, I like the wand. I like the component. Oh, it actually kind of smells fruity. That's weird. Huh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, very cool. Very, very cool. Let me get this because y'all know I'm blind as hell. And we'll do one eye and then I'll speed the other eye up. I love lash primers and I also typically curl my lashes, which I forgot to do. All right, it's coating them well. 
it doesn't seem too thick or too goopy or tacky or anything like that. It is coating them actually very well. Huh, okay, let's see what happens. So there's that. And then this is the number seven dramatic lift for the ultimate wide awake look. Very excited about this and has a curl wand, which I am obsessed with curl wands. I love them. So that is what that looks like. All right, y'all, let's see what happens. It's a little wetter than I typically like. I like a more kind of thick type of mascara formulation. Not super duper volumizing, but it is pretty. It is lengthening. All right, I like it. Seems to be buildable as well. Ooh, I really like it for the bottom lashes. And it's a smaller wand, so it's actually kind of getting the lower lashes much more easily. Okay, I really like it for the bottom lashes. Let's come back up to the top. Yeah, I like it. Is it the best thing I've ever used? No, but it's doing the job, and I think it looks really pretty. Okay, so, before and after. All right, I like it. Let's speed it up on the other eye, and then we're almost done. We're going to do some lips. All right. Last, but certainly not least, and I totally forgot about this palette because I was so blown away by the other one, y'all. I will do this in a future video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Next, I cannot believe I have not tried this before, but it is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Stunna Lip, Lip Paint in the shade Unveil. Hopefully this isn't too cool tone for this look. <sighs> okay, y'all don't judge mama. This may not go. I can tell you right now, like, the, the component is gorgeous. It's sexy as hell. And I'm pretty sure this is glass. It feels very weighty, and it does feel like glass. I've never actually seen one of these. Oh! <laughs> so the component is kind of like an hourglass type of shape. I don't smell anything at all. Which is odd. I could have sworn I heard people say that her stuff was over scented. Or was that Huda? I might be wrong. Okay, let's try it out. Um, I feel like there's a lot on the applicator. Oh. Okay, that applicator is a little strange. I will clean that up. <laughs> Not my best work. Oh, upon very, very first application, it feels really nice. It has that same kind of really pretty oily slip that I like with a matte liquid lipstick. Oh, I, I like this a lot. Let me go clean this up and then we'll get up close and personal and I will show y'all the completed look. All right, beauties, that is it, you guys. I I have not felt this pretty in a very, very long time. Like, I feel incredible. The, the skin looks great. The complexion looks beautiful. I love everything. I will say, I'm not sure if it's because I kind of layered, um, but I feel like that blush kind of disappeared a little bit on me. Um, aside from that, like, I really love everything. The standouts, oddly enough, the primer very shocked that I like it. Like it felt kind of tacky upon first applying it, but I did like the glowiness to it. And I did notice that it did start kind of smoothing everything out before I put on the foundation. Um, the foundation I actually really like too, especially for it being a matte foundation. Um, you definitely have to work fast. Lesson learned on that. The eyeshadow is fantastic. I cannot attest yet to long wearability and things like that. I will leave a pinned comment when this goes up. Um, I think I love everything. Um, I wish the bronzer was slightly more warm, but that's just personal preference. The texture felt nice. The scent was lovely. Um, it, you know, it applied beautifully and stuff like that. I just, I prefer a more, you know, I'm a bronzer hoe. Okay. Um, the lip, gorgeous. I love the way that it feels. Um, it is dried down completely, but it's not super sticky or tacky the way that some can be. I really like it. I love the color of this as well. It's gorgeous, grungy, yummy, 90s deliciousness. Um, the highlight 
fantastic. I love everything. I love everything. I will use everything again, and I highly recommend everything. Um, I really loved this as well, the e.l.f. I, I love everything. Y'all, I this is the first time I think I've ever done a full first impressions, and literally everything was beautiful and was amazing. So let's get up close and personal, and then I will bid you adieu. beauties that is it i hope that you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet and give me a thumbs up it definitely helps my channel out if you do so and be your own best beautiful bye beauties